this was just meant to be a quick little thing, but I'm kind of enjoying it, man. They're asking in the chat, should I speak on the prison talk? Let me speak on the prison talk. I'm going to break it down. I was going to do a whole video. Maybe I still will. But, man, it was crazy. Shout out to my boy, Freddie, man. Freddie Freddy's one of my oldest friends from, from school. You know what I'm saying? We were in high school together. I'll keep it real with you. And there ain't no disrespect, but, like, I ain't really in touch with too many people that I went to high school with, if I'm, if I'm completely honest with you guys. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? One, one of my guys, Freddie, I went to high school with. He, uh, he actually works. I don't know exactly how it works, but, like, he basically works in UK prisons uh, as part of, like, a program to kind of help guys... To, to avoid reoffending, to rebuild their lives and to stay focused kind of after they get out of jail or, or when they're in jail or when they're in prison, especially towards the end of their sentences. I hope I haven't got that wrong. But so he's like one of my oldest friends. He's uh, you know what I'm saying? He's a good dude. Always just been like a day one friend of mine. And uh, it's so funny, man. He hit me and he told me, he was like, yo, you know what? They, they're like real fans of you in, in prison. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, bro, some of the guys that I work with in jail on this on this program, they fuck with you. They fuck with your videos. And I was like, God damn, that's crazy. Like, I'm actually, I'm apparently, I'm actually popping in jail. And I knew that was low-key a little bit true because a few people done told me, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get DMs from people talking about, I'm in jail and I fuck with you and I watch your videos. And I'm like, how? How do you do that? But apparently they do. Apparently it's a thing. So... You know what I'm saying? Apparently, I'm popping in. I'm popping behind the wall. So uh, my guy Freddie said to me, like, you know, would you ever think about coming in doing a talk? And I was thinking, I kind of thought, like, I ain't never really thought of anything like that before. But you know what? Like, that would be lit. I, I started thinking and reflecting on like what it is I do. And look, I know that everybody wants to hate on Trap Law Ross, and you know, you're a culture vulture, you're a white guy in hip hop. But like at the same time is what it is like drill drillings are happening drillings are going on it is what it is like this this shit goes down so uh you know there are there are people in jail that have made mistakes and have been through some of the difficult situations that i talk about in my videos and you know what i'm saying i thought you know what this would be a great opportunity to actually get in there to get into a an environment where i'm going to be interacting with the real the, the real people behind the stories that i cover not necessarily I'm not saying everyone I talk about is a criminal. Not every video I do is about drill or violence or gangster rap, bro. I've got all kinds of videos. But that's the stuff that people want to focus on. It is what it is. But, um, you know, the crazy thing is, like, I really wasn't expecting to get that much love when I went to the prison to do the talk. Um, you know, I, I signed up. I said, let's do it. Arrange it. Like, let's have it. Let's get it popping. But um, I'll be honest, man. Like, when I got in there, it was a, it was a packed out. I wouldn't want to say sold out, but it, well, you didn't have to buy it. You know what I'm saying? It would, we should have charged, like, two cigarettes for admission to my talk, real talk. You know what I'm saying? We could have made a little... We could have got the K2 on deck, charge a little pouch K2 for a, for a entry to the event. But, um, you know, it was, it was just really inspiring, man. It was really, really fulfilling and nourishing for me to get an environment with, the, with young guys that had made mistakes that had been in some of the situations that I talk about in my videos. And also guys that would, didn't even know shit about what I do. And they just wanted to take an opportunity of something that could give them something positive and could teach them something that maybe they wouldn't have had. You know, I feel like everybody really appreciated that I had given up my time to, uh, to actually go to a UK prison. And, you know what I'm saying, offer people an opportunity to learn, to grow, to ask me questions. And, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, it ain't an everyday thing. Like, they put up posters around the prison talking about Trap Law Ross is uh you know what i'm saying doing this talk in a prison and like real talk man it was like it was like a sold out or like a packed out venue uh inside the prison and uh honestly man it went down really well i appreciated everybody that gave me their time i was proud to give my time to some of these guys who had been through you know the situations i talk on in my videos and i'm really trying to do something positive it's something i want to do going forward um and i just really appreciated everybody that showed me love so it was uh it, it was a lit opportunity and uh, I really enjoyed doing it, man. I, I know it's not something we can like film or anything like that. So we weren't really, it wasn't really able to like record the video or like capture me. We got, we were allowed to get some pictures, but that was about it. So no, I didn't record the talk. But um, you know what I'm saying? It was, uh, it was still, it was still kind of lit. But I see, I see my guy. I see my guy sharp in the chat. I think I see my guy sharp in the chat. I'm trying to bring him in, man. I want to, I want to have a debrief. With Big Sharp, man, after I got pressed on the on the No Jumper show, man. So on the No Jumper news. I don't know if can we get Sharp in here? Uh or maybe he don't want to join. I don't know. I wanna I wanna get a little catch up with Sharp. That's really that's what we're here for. So 
Let me just try one more time. See if I can invite him. Maybe. Let me see. If Sharp is in here, man, request to join or accept my request. It says you're unable to join for some reason. Maybe maybe he ain't trying to debate. I don't know. But um man, let me get a little if I can get a little, little thing popping. Um I'm a I'ma definitely speak with a couple more people before I hop off here. Mm -mm -mm. And I want to get sharp in here because I think that will be that will be a special moment. This IG live thing's new to me, man. I don't know how these rappers do it, to be honest with you. I don't know how these rappers be going crazy, going off, wilding out on the live. <laughs> 